would you rather have negotiating against China, against Iran? What a deal that is, okay? You talk about incompetent people. Against anybody, Jeb Bush, Hillary Clinton, or Trump? I think so. I think so. I don't know who came up with the idea. It must have been Kerry. No, it must have been. Because I don't think the Iranians, you know, the Iranians, Persians are great negotiators. They're natural, great negotiators. I don't believe they would have even thought of this because it's so crazy. No, it's true. They wouldn't have actually said, let's do this because it's so far out. Who would ever think of it? They get 150 billion plus plus, even if the deal's voted down and if the deal doesn't happen, which the deal will probably happen because we have a lot of weak people that are going to approve that deal, just like they approved Obamacare. When President Obama was elected, one thing I thought would happen, I really thought he would be a unifier. You look at Baltimore, you look at Ferguson, you look at St. Louis the other night, you look at Chicago, you look at so many different places. And you look at what's happening with the African-American youth. It's never been in worse shape. Never. You look at what's happening with so many other aspects of our country. And there's a racial divide. There's a divide, period. There's hatred all over the country. I've never seen it like this. We have to unify the country. We have to spiritize the country. We have to create jobs. We have to do a tremendous amount of work. But it can be done quickly.